this video is difficult for me to do and I was actually putting it off um, last minute um, because I felt that it was extremely devastating sad news I would uh, written up something you know what I wanted to say about it and all that kind of stuff um, I'm thinking that I should just follow Chagyam Trungpa's advice and just speak from the heart. So, I'm going to try to do that. I first found out about the uh, Christina Grimmy thing through uh, Philip DeFranco. And uh, I am perhaps in the large group of people who didn't even know she existed. Um, and in the greater majority of people who haven't heard any of her material. So I uh, started reading news articles to figure out what was going on, what had happened. And... I saw an entire family that believed in her so much that they put down their day jobs and moved to a different state to support her musical career and her pursuit of doing well in that industry. Um, this is about as far as I knew at that point about her. Um, and then I wanted to uh, get a gauge for her talent and check that out. So I ended up finding her uh, YouTube channel, Zelda X Love 64. And uh, the first thing I wanted to click on uh, was uh, her cover of Adele's Hello, because I've seen a lot of um, bad covers <laughs> on the internet. Uh, they're all over the place like people just you know ruin this song um, so I clicked on hers and uh, I was pleasantly surprised and taken aback by her talent um, the uh, other one that was really impressive to me was her rendition of Silent Night um, the way she hit certain notes it's like a professional saxophonist the notes are clear, picture perfect, pristine. It's, you know, it's clear she was talented. And uh, she had not only appeared on The Voice, but had made quite a number of professional industry level contacts that eventually, over a period of time, would have no doubt guaranteed her um, success even greater success um, <laughs> I had to give myself a little longer to react to this because it I found it deeply deeply upsetting because the more I learned about this person that I didn't know I'd realized that she had spent her entire life from what I could tell just doing what she loved doing what she was passionate about attempting to succeed and share her love of music and her talent with everyone around her and uh, I find it heartbreaking that a person committed to doing something they love was just uh, senselessly murdered by for no reason
and uh, I didn't even know this person, you know. Um, but it's it's heartbreaking and upsetting because uh, the person Christina Grimmy is just trying to share her love, her passion with people. And, you know, spread some joy into other people's lives. Um, I also really enjoyed her rendition of Silent Night a lot. Uh, that was really good. Um... <clears throat> Another person that I don't want to, don't want to say their name, but I don't know, may have reacted a little insensitive, or maybe their comments were taken out of context, I'm not sure, but uh, they came across being apathetic, and uh, I think that if I were younger, I probably would have had a similar stance on the amount of uh, mass killings and murders and all that type of stuff that goes around and has been happening for some time. You know, I think that we do truly become somewhat apathetic to this kind of thing over time um, just because we get so used to it. But these are real people it's not Hollywood. Um, these are people's lives, you know, and um, people should be okay with just being themselves and enjoying life and sharing their loves and passions with other people. <laughs> And they shouldn't have to risk the bullet of a gunman who they never even knew existed or suspected for even a single second just because there's no reason. <laughs> you know, that's, you know, aside from mental illness or whatnot, there is no, there's no reason for this. <laughs> And uh, I found it very classy how uh, Philip DeFranco decided to unmonetize his video. Um, and after reporting it, he, uh, he said, you know what, I'm going to go home and I'm going to spend time with my family. And that really... Uh, That really affected me because it showed how precious this life thing is and our time with uh, each other and our time here and how much we take that for granted. Life can be hard sometimes and we can kind of take it all for granted and wish we didn't have to go through this thing or that thing. but. You know what, uh, there are moments where you just wake up and you just breathe the air. You know, you just take it in and you feel blessed that it's a gift, that life is precious. And you don't take it for granted. And I'd like to demonstrate this, uh insanely <laughs> somewhat fringe metaphysical esoteric concept in the only way I know how uh, through ridiculousness take this for instance or this or this and this every time this happens or this or this it looks like it's the exact same thing that's happening every time. 
but I assure you it's not. Because every time I do it, my fingers, no matter how I want to do it, no matter how firm I want to hold them or whatnot, or how loose, every single time, it comes out differently. Every single moment is precious. Because not any single moment before this was exactly the same as this. Every single one of these is different. Because every time I do this, Pluto is in a different point in space. The sun is burning at a different rate or degree of temperature than it was the last time I did this. Earth is in a different point of space from the last time I did this. I am at a different point in space-time every single time I do this. <laughs> so every time you do this, every single moment is different and it's precious because the moment like this it's never going to be the same as it was before it's always different this will never happen again like this <laughs> and uh, it's a little ridiculous to say it like that but I don't know any other way to explain it. And I think you get the point. <laughs> so, um, yeah. It took me a week. Uh, something, something of a week or something. To step through this and kind of collect myself and come through with how I feel about this and how to make sense of something like that and uh, I didn't even know this person I didn't even know this person existed So, I can imagine that the people who knew her on a personal level must be, must have impacted, obviously must have hurt them far more. But uh, for some reason it just really hit a, hit a vein with me. It really affected me and... Uh, positive, negative, and otherwise confusing ways. So I've been trying to make sense with it before ultimately arriving at this. <laughs> and uh, I hope that you also remember this because there will never be another moment like it. And it's precious every single time. And we have to make the most of it. However we can. And uh, that may be pursuing our loves or our passions or our interests. As Christina did. And to uh, keep people in your heart who affect you in positive ways for the rest of your life and spread that with others because that's what makes all of this meaningful and uh, if any of her family or friends by any chance happen to see something like this I just want to let you know that this person who I didn't even know uh, affected me in a uh, positive way by looking at her life um, from you know what I could read from any article 
or seeing other people say positive things about her um, it has positively affected me and um, I'm sorry I had to know that that person you know she existed uh, through circumstances um, But uh, just want everybody to know that, you know, despite all the jokes and, you know, the caricatures of myself that I play and whatnot, um, um, I've had trouble coming through on this one because I wasn't even sure if I was going to make it or what I should say. And, uh, I think it all just comes down to the idea that life is precious. And uh, closing off, I just want to commend uh, Philip DeFranco's class in his reporting that, you know, even though he makes a living reporting the news he didn't monetize his video and he uh, clearly understands how precious our time is here on earth and what it's about and uh You know, to her family and friends, um, from what I could read in those articles, like, uh, people were exceptionally, uh, blessed to have known somebody like that, who was committed to their passions and their love and their interest and pursued it incredibly and incredibly well um, I think that a good precedent um, may be in the future whenever reporting on the death uh, or the passing of a person um, would be to unmonetize those videos um, and I think Philip DeFranco may be credited for that, as I will do with this. Um, if anything, I just want to remind everybody that our time here is precious. That we need to make the most of it. We have to be the best people that we can possibly be. For ourselves and each other. And um, It has affected me deeply, and uh, uh, positively, overwhelmingly, positively, ultimately, because you keep the best, the best light of a person in your heart and mind.
you know, it's senseless, and I think that's why it's as confusing as it is or has been to me and why I've been a... Uh, you know, devastated in my own way um, about that. There is no rhyme or reason when it's senseless. And so if you're a logical person, you can't quite connect the dots between A and B. And it's frustrating. <laughs> so... Yeah. It's actually kind of made me think about what I'm doing and why I'm doing what I'm doing. Should I be doing what I'm doing? Not, not through fear of like uh, somebody disagreeing with my opinion and shooting me or anything like that, but <laughs> simply how do I not take this for granted? How do I carry on uh, from here forward in a positive manner. In regard to her message of who she was and what she represented and the good talents and gifts she brought to this world has been quite a contemplative thing for me personally deeply affecting um, you know I'm not gonna get weird and you know you're not gonna see like uh, <laughs> you're not gonna see uh, large pictures of uh, posters around my walls all of a sudden you know uh, that's what you know I got Ninja Turtle posters already but, um, you know, I'm going to, somebody who did not personally know Christina, I'm going to hold on to this positive message that she had and carry that forward for the rest of my life. And to be mindful of how precious and joyful and giving and caring a person can be. Very contemplative it has made me. Um, very, very good thought. And uh, you realize the uh, the gift that people have. You haven't even met them, but they touch you in a positive way, and you carry them. Uh, I don't personally subscribe to um, her faith as she did or Christianity, but, uh, you know, a lot of people condemn Christianity because <laughs> they find that uh, Christian people aren't exactly uh, like 
the person they are supposed to emulate. Christina, in a way, um, without blasphemy, affected people in the way that Jesus did in the sense that uh, you didn't have to know her in real life for her to positively affect you. She was, in essence, Christ like and I mean that uh, with all due respect to uh, to Christianity to Christina uh, to any of her family and friends that may be watching I truly commend her um, ability to be Christ like And this coming from a non-believer, so um, it's not easy to uh, to be or to do as she was. Um, my my belief is that uh, we call somebody like that uh, Sida or Mahasida. Someone who uh, is perfect or perfected and aspires towards even greater and greater levels of perfection. Um, arriving at purity and bliss. And I very much believe that there was a lot of purity and a lot of bliss in her, in who she was. And you can really see that in how powerfully she affected a lot of people. People that knew her and people who didn't. Um, it's a person who deserves to be remembered in an incredibly powerfully positive light I truly commend her and uh, especially her family for believing in her as much as they did they were not wrong to do so at all it's clear uh, from watching her material and seeing from what people were saying who she was as a person that nobody was wrong to believe in that one. <laughs> that was a exceedingly good person. It's crystal clear. And so if we are to remember someone uh, positively in the best light that is a, a person who deserves to be remembered beautifully Namaste and Amen.
and mild Sleep in heavenly peace Sleep in heavenly peace Silent night Oh Glory stream from heaven afar Heavenly hosts sing Alleluia Christ the Savior is born the Savior is born Sleep in heavenly peace Sleep Peace.